All right, this is an attempt to record something I'm trying to experiment with, putting this on my bike. And I'm not sure that's truly going to help me. If I got it, if I could get it into here, <clears throat> right on the far edge. Bring it down. I'm not sure if that would help me any, but it might. So technically it would be a little bit more forward because of the bracket. See how I would get this to uh, set in place. where it would be, technically, just like that. So I want to get this on video so I can see kind of where it would sit on my back. But, it'll sit like right there, right in between. This mark right in this seam right here is where she's going to go down into. You know, see how I got that in video. How's that looking? Yeah, it's pretty good actually. And then, bring this towards me here. So I'm get a little shot of where I got it really sitting. Okay. Kind of like right there. Now the trick is, I've got lots of space between these two here, between the seat, the actual bucket, and I could actually trim some of this if I had to, but it's not going to go, it's going to go. Saying this was mounted in there, it's going to go back behind here. And actually, this, uh, this looks like it might work out pretty dang good. I'm going to put a metal bracket on here and let me bring her up a little bit. Sorry about the uh, wobble, guys. Experiment here again is to have the seat basically in there like this. Now, bring this camera up here a little bit. It's going to kind of sit like that. Inside. The, um, the cavity here, inside here. So if you were looking at it, it would sit like that. It would be inside there. These arms, I'll have to straighten these out. 
but these arms will be inside behind this piece here right in between here and I'll put a metal bracket to nut and bolt this um, to the plastic here so I've got some good strong support now it looks like with that being the case I've got a fair amount of room with the seat all the way back to do that so I think my uh, my little experiment uh, should work. So that's uh, another project I'm going to get into uh, pretty soon here. I just got to um, figure out how to straighten these out. I need these straightened. If I heat them, I'm afraid I'll damage this. But I'm not sure. I don't want to damage this. So I'm going to try to heat it just to see what it does and try to straighten them out. Maybe I can even hammer straighten them. I might even hammer it three, three, three pound sledge or something and uh, try to straighten them out that way. Might do that. But these have to be straightened out. And depending on the the angle here, if it has to be straighter or in you know, off a little bit, I can mess with that afterwards. But I want to put this to use because I want a back support. I want a high back support right here. And turning nuts inside. My, that back support is going to be awesome because it'll be actually right back in here and it'll be like that so that's some good back support besides the little hump they give you so uh any of your majesty owners out there uh, there ain't very many <laughs> unfortunately but that's all right um this is my next uh big to do i'm gonna mess with i ordered uh Two new bolts that go in here, actually go in the two new bolts that go in here uh, on the side um, because one of them I screwed up and they're only like a buck and a quarter so a special type of bolt. But I'm going to use anesthesia to take these on and off. That's crazy. These things snap off to, in their Allen head which is a dumb design because Allen heads have a super tendency to strip out, round out. So I'm going to just replace them and put ANSCs on. So anyways, that's my next project of choice. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll take um, all these staples off right here, peel this back. The foam seat portion is just a bag in a bag type thing so I should be able to peel that back so I can work on this but I might have to cut uh, slots here and here so that it can go inside the you know the seat here and then I'll try to figure out how to neatly put that back and all that stuff but that's my next project so that's uh I think it's a doable thing. Um, it looks like I have uh, plenty of room. Let me, uh, let me take this off here real quick here. Um, I think I have plenty of room here. Uh, if I have to, I can notch some of this. Um, when it uh, you know sits up inside there but again it looks like I've got you know plenty of room in there because um, again it's going to be behind that plastic so I'll cut a slot here and a slot here like right here for these legs to go in 
and they'll sit behind this plastic piece uh, again about here and here -ish. I put some metal bracketing uh, for strong support some heavy metal and um, again there looks like there's plenty of room this is all the way back too so it looks like I'm gonna be all right doing this I think it's gonna work so anyhow that's uh, Vader's next project just trying to bide the winter by guys so just want to get this winter over with but anyways so I can get out back out and do my thing so anyways we'll talk at you Vader out <laughs>